actually wanted to hear about my nipple piercings. It's a little bit rude, considering you don't know me. But fine, I suppose I'll tell you. Let's start at the beginning. Why did I even get them pierced? I am a piercing enthusiast. I love piercings. I have 18. So getting these were just adding to the collection. Nothing more, nothing less. I know a lot of you are probably anxious about the pain level. So let's just get that out of the way. I will say that my opinion might be screwed skewed because i do have 18 piercings the pain obviously doesn't bother me that much to stop me from getting piercings so when you look online listening to people's experience and their pain levels getting nip piercings done they tell you it's a 10 out of 10 won't recommend worst pain of their lives but surprisingly for me it wasn't anywhere near worst point in my life would i do it again for both of them together it's a solid five <laughs> Going through the middle, it was a point where it was a little low. It was a seven going through the middle for both. Strangely for me, they both felt the same. I know a lot of people say the second one hurts more than the first one, but not for me, they both felt the same. Not at all unbearable or the worst pain I've ever felt in my life. I will say that it was kind of a weird pain though. It wasn't as pinchy or as quick as the normal piercing, but we'll, we'll get into that in the next section, which brings us to my experience <laughs> i got mine done with my friend and yes we did see each other's boobs <laughs> i was supposed to be going first because my friend was like nervous and i will say that being nervous and anxious is a normal part of getting a piercing it's just part of the experience at this point even though i have so many piercings i still get anxious before them so this time was a little bit different though we got to the piercing place got cleaned up got marked out everything was ready to go she put the clamp on she put the clamp on the clamp itself was hurting so that's how i knew like i just knew the needle was gonna hurt even more and on top of that my anxiety was bugging so usually when i get piercings i close my eyes and i breathe and everything is completely fine but with this one i couldn't get myself to be in a place where i was like ready to get it pierced when she asked me are you ready to get it pierced i was I just couldn't get myself to be prepared. I just couldn't say yes. <laughs> I like punked out for that split second, but I told my friend if she goes first, I will force myself to get it after her. So that's what ended up happening. So my friend went first, she got it done. Her face looked, it looked freaking painful. I was like, what the freak did I just get myself into? After she got hers done, I got mine done. Got lined up again, cleaned it up again, got everything ready to go. Oh, when she asked me if I was ready, I said yes, even though the answer was no. She stabbed it and <laughs> when it first started, I was like, okay, this isn't too bad. This isn't too bad. But then it kept going. You see, when she got to the middle, it was a solid seven for like a whole second, but it only lasts like a few seconds. I will say that after getting them pierced, they were throbbing. I had to go take uh, ibuprofen and I never take pain pills when I get piercings. But always make sure you go to a piercer who knows what they're doing. We went to a piercer that I had been to before, but both mine and my friends came out a little crooked. So this one is like through the center of the nip, but this one is like a little bit higher than the center. It's completely, it'll be fine. Let's It'll be fine. But overall, it was a pretty smooth process. Let's move on to healing. It's been six months and they seem to be healing pretty okay. I do get the random irritation bump even though I'm not irritating it. All I do is spray it a couple times a day or clean it a couple times a day with wound wash and we are good to go. Leave it alone and it will be completely fine. My piercer told me that it would take 9 to 12 months for it to heal and most of my piercings take a year to heal. I've had a couple that healed in six months. Actually, it's probably only been one that's healed in six months but these look like they're coming along faster so these might get done in less than a year when i got the pierce she pierced them at a 12 gauge it looks like that needle was super thick like it looked like she had a 10 gauge needle she didn't ask us if we wanted 12 or 14 usually nips are done at a 14 gauge which is smaller than the 12. 14 is like the size of an industrial bar usually when you get a piercing it's in a 16 gauge and you can't see like the hollow opening you can see the hollow opening on this needle that boy was thick that's a thick boy right there boy we both got titanium barbells titanium 
is better for the body than something like surgical steel it's supposed to be like completely biocompatible and if you're sensitive to metals titanium is supposed to be the way to go let's talk about migration slash and or rejection both of my piercings have moved since getting them done this one looks like it's okay it looks fine but this one is kind of on the line is like is it okay or is it not okay i've consulted both of my piercers on whether or not this one is going to be okay to leave it in and they both said the same thing which is it looks fine for now but if it moves then i might have to take it out and get it redone if i want to get it redone when i first got them done they were super deep like it was hard for me to tell if it was in the areola or in the nipple but at this point i can definitely tell that both of them are in the nipple nipple piercings are are technically surface piercings so they have a higher likelihood of being rejected keep your eye out for that if that one does continue to move I will have to take it out and knowing me even though that job was freaking painful I probably would get it redone dang some people say it hurts more and some people say it hurts less now a bonus a bonus level a bonus compartment reactions from other people I wore my mom before I got it done <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't like any of my piercing. My friends, either they like it or they're just neutral or they just talk about how they can never go through the pain. Wearing them visibly out in public is not something that, it's, it's kind of a weird experience. I never walk around with my junk exposed. Wearing clothing where it, you can actually see the piercing is like a strange experience for me. I've only done it like once. And I was wearing a cardigan thing so I could cover it anytime somebody walked by. She's kind of shy. So when strangers see them, I walk with my head down. I don't make eye contact with strangers, but I did see some people staring at me. I can't tell you why they were staring at me. I was walking around in a white area and they could have been staring at me because I'm black. They also could have been staring at me because something is staring back at them. My friend did say a couple of people were taking double takes and staring at me and like, <laughs> which is freaking hilarious, dude. I really like them. I can't think of the word. There's a part of it that it's a bad butt piercing because everybody knows that they freaking hurt and it's a day i really did that i'm the type of person to put myself up to things <laughs> just to like challenge myself i guess i guess a piercing is a weird thing to do as a challenge but since i'm already a piercing enthusiast it's just like i just had to do it so the rundown is make sure you find a piercer who knows what they're doing it's not supposed to be pierced in the areola or like in the middle of the nip it's supposed to be at the base if it isn't you're gonna have some issues you're gonna have some issues <laughs> <laughs> you can ask your piercer about the gauges. Be prepared for pain. If you really like piercings, you would disregard the pain anyway. It only lasts a few seconds. You can take ibuprofen afterwards. They're gonna be sore for a couple of weeks. I usually sleep like on my front side, like this slumped. I waited like a week or two to sleep on the front side. For the aftercare, spray it a couple times a day. Look out for migration and rejection. It is a piercing that attracts attention if you wear it where the whole world can see it. I don't, like for me, it's just another piercing. Um, I have all these piercings that are visible. So like for this, it's like, and it's another piercing and I kind of want it to be visible sometimes. This has been all about my nip piercings. I hope you enjoy. The door, please. Don't make me kick you out because I will kick you out. All right. Well. <laughs>